What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over Curse Forge. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified of every new tutorial we upload, just like this one. If you've ever wanted to make your own mod packs or just like playing mod packs, CurseForge is the best place to get started. To put it simply, CurseForge is the largest and safest repository for modded Minecraft, featuring mod packs, shaders, texture packs, and even worlds. Since 2015, mod pack support has been added to the website, making it easier to create and share mod packs with ease. CurseForge prides itself on its safety. Unlike other sites, there's no adware. All the downloads are hosted on the site itself. To be clear though, some mod authors do end up using sketchy downloads like any community-based website. At the end of the day, even the simplest software requires some effort to stay safe while downloading stuff on the internet. To download the launcher, all you have to do is click on Get Desktop on the CurseForge website, then select either Windows or Mac and follow the instructions for whichever installer you pick. Then all you need to do when you've selected your version is click on the download link and it'll open up a new tab to start the download. Then click on the installer, which is going to launch, and make sure to click yes to allow it. Then go ahead and click on next on the launcher. Set your preferences the way you like them, and make sure that you accept the terms and privacy policy, then go ahead and click on next. Once the installer is finished installing, it's going to ask you if you'd like to launch it, then you can go ahead and open up CurseForge. CurseForge has a bunch of features, but the reason we like it for Minecraft is because it has full mod support. Once you get started, you're going to need to click on Minecraft and make sure that you install it onto your CurseForge install. Then go ahead and browse the mod packs and use what you like. CurseForge has been expanded into much more than modded Minecraft, but that's what we're going to focus on today, Minecraft. Now that CurseForge is officially under new ownership, this brand new launcher can be used to manage your mod packs, mods, and much, much more, conveniently. As Kirchforge is passed from company to company, expanding on its features and robust software, it's the closest thing to official that we're going to have for a while. Unlike Bedrock Edition, Java Edition has no structure or support system in regards to mods. The benefit to this is that everything is free. The downside is that it's a free-for-all where their community is assigned to the task of organizing itself. To be fair though, they've done a wonderful job at that. Arguably, better job than Microsoft themselves. With that said, we hope you liked this tutorial and we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.